Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Yolena TV. I hope you're well from wherever you're watching this channel. Now, Amazon Jeff Kingi realizing that the courts are under uh, a lot of pressure to probably stop this impeachment motion has decided to release a statement. And shockingly, Amazon Jeff Kingi said the following. And the judiciary compel an action to be undertaken by parliament. I rule any injunction interfering with the work of parliament has no effect on parliament in exercise of its constitutional functions. Such court orders have no effect on the National Assembly or the Senate or any of their committees, respectively. In the unlikely event of any such orders, parliament and its committees shall proceed unabated, unfettered and unhindered, as may be directed by the respective Speaker of Parliament. Now, the question of the, of the effect, if any, of the court orders injecting the Senate from conducting any business is well settled. Now, that is enough confirmation, and Amazon Jeff King is trying to tell us that uh, even if the courts make a determination, that will not stop the Senate from executing its mandate. Now, the big question, ladies and gentlemen, is can the courts really stop the, any process of maybe the National Assembly or the Senate? Is it possible? Mind you, what is happening in the Senate is more of political and somehow legal because in the Senate, that is like a trial chamber whereby evidences are tabled and the like. Now, I want us to go to this statement by Amazon King because it has some weight behind it. And personally, I'm looking at a political and I'm looking at a scenario where there is going to be a political and legal quagmire. So if we get further, please like this video. It's so important if you like this video. That is the only way YouTube shares our content. Subscribe to our channel if you're not subscribed before and to existing subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. Political and legal quagmire. That is the situation that this impeachment fate will find itself in. Now, when King decides that the Senate will not be intimidated, will not be cowed, will not honor the decision of the court. What does that mean, ladies and gentlemen? That's a very strong statement coming from the Speaker of the Senate, someone who's supposed to respect the law. Based on me, I therefore accept with humility and pledge that I shall perform to my utmost ability the constitutional responsibilities and duties of the office of the Speaker of the Senate for the next five years with due diligence and decorum. So now I'm talking about that because we all know that there are more than 24 petitions that have been taken to the, uh, to the courts. All these are trying to give Rigadi Gachagua a second chance in leadership as the deputy president. Now, what we're likely to see, because in the wake of this realization that Kingi has made that statement, is a scenario where the, the impeachment might take place in the Senate, but the courts overturn it or give Rigadi some temporary political lifeline. And we find a scenario where Rigadi Gachago is not given the privileges which are supposed to be given to him because the courts cannot force the government to listen to Rigadi Gachagua. I know the government means the government is, is uh, Rigadi Gachagua is part of the government, but I'm to, foreseeing a scenario where the courts have decided that they are going to do, make decisions opposite to what the Senate has uh, decided. The Senate decided that the impeachment should be upheld. What does that tell you? There is no arm of government that operates in isolation. So, if the National Assembly decides to, uh, you know, box somebody into a corner and that will not fall well, that will not go down well with the, with the Article 50 of the Constitution that demands for fair trial. So, without necessarily predicting what will happen in, 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 the, in the Senate, really, uh, the Senate has demonstrated like uh, the former speaker has said that they have that experience of having tried several impeachments you know from the counties so they have that knowledge and one of the exceptional knowledge they have developed is that of giving the accused the person in trial a chance to explain himself and now what are you supposed to explain yourself to 
That is where the National Assembly actually failed. The National Assembly came together, they collected 291 signatures the previous day, then uh, they rushed uh, uh, public participation on Friday, they realized it was not enough, so again on Saturday they, they, they again extended it. The uh, Seventh-day Adventists said, oh, that was Sabbath, we were not given enough time. And you've seen now, you know, some of their members have gone to court. So these are all issues that the Senate must look at. Was the process regular? Was it procedural as per the Constitution of Kenya? By the way, if it was not regular, if it was not procedural, it will not be a constitutional process. And that's why you see several people have gone to the High Court to say, even before you really take this motion up to the Senate, look, the procedures used are actually strange to the Constitution of Kenya, so can we have it stopped? By the way, the High Court can stop that process. They are not stopping the Senate from entertaining the matter, but they are telling the Senate that the process being used is actually irregular already. Much as it is uh, constitu uh, uh, well, rather political, I mean, we have to guard and guide the Constitution. We have to, people must operate in a certain known highway, not in a strange highway. So Now, one thing is that the orchestrators of this impeachment will force a nomination most likely i'm just i'm looking at uh, a scenario where now the courts have refused to listen to the senate the senate has refused to also listen to the courts now these two uh, bodies are making their own moves you see of course we know what the national assembly did the senate might also might also do exactly as the uh, National Assembly did. Now, if that is the case, the courts might stay, might, might decide that now, since you decided to make your own unanimous decision and not abiding by the facts or the, 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 the request from the court, now we are giving uh, Rigadi Gachagua some political lifeline. We are instating Rigadi Gachagua. Now, that's a decision that the courts can make. And what is going to happen there is just what I told you. There is going to be total sidelining of Rigadi Gachagua here in this case and most likely William Ruto will not assign Rigadi Gachagua roles because the verdict from the nation from the from the you know legislature is that Rigadi should go and the report has been tabled to William Ruto about uh, uh, impeachment on Rigadi Gachagua the court decided that that cannot happen you see this there's going to be some political or other legal quagmire between the judiciary and the legislature. Remember, these are, these are arms of government. The, the, the government has three arms of government, the executive, the legislature, and the judiciary. Now, if the legislature has done its own independent work and made, made a decision, now the judiciary can decide that we are not going to swear in uh, the deputy president whom you have nominated because we gave a directive that Regarding Gachagua to still stay in office. You know, this is what we are going to face, ladies and gentlemen. Perhaps I may just remind you, if, you, if you've forgotten, the judiciary cannot propose who is to be sworn in or who is not to be sworn in because that part of proposing is left to the executive. Now, the legislature in this whole arrangement does grilling. So you saw what happened with the CSS. They do the grilling, whereby this is not why they, they try to look for mistakes, say whether you can actually hold office or anything. Upon successful grilling in, grilling of these people, the judiciary now does the swearing in. So that is how uh, this thing works. What Amazon is trying to say here, ladies and gentlemen, is that the court can make their own decision, but that will not stop us from executing our mandate as the legislature. So this is what is going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. The fight between the judiciary and the legislature. One faction seems to be based on the analysis or based on what people are saying. One faction seems to be defending Rigadi Gachago. The other faction seems to be defending the Oster. So we are in two scenarios, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know about you. Just go below in your comment section. And you can tell us what you think this statement, how the effect of this statement from Kingi, how would you say based on your own analysis, ladies and gentlemen. Personally, I think this will have a ripple effect in how the deputy president is going to be treated 
uh, with the, the president. So perhaps if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, take one second and subscribe, like this video, till you catch up again, stay safe and stay blessed.